Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Domino's, the world leader in pizza delivery. Optum Healthcare, they get you back to you. International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Ford in your neighborhood Ford dealers, the best rise to the top in a smart and fuel efficient Ford. Georgia Power, a Southern company. Welcome into Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Colin Lacey alongside Danny Waugh. A tough game up at Death Valley Memorial Stadium in Clemson, South Carolina, as Clemson knocks off Georgia Southern. The Eagles fall to 2-1 and one on the season, but a good effort by Georgia Southern up in the Pete State. Yeah, they put up a great effort against the number two team in the country. Fell up short just a little bit, but nonetheless, it was a great game for Georgia Southern. Hurricane Florence had moved the start time up from a 3.30 kick up to a noon kick. Also had a couple of cancellations around campus due to Hurricane Florence. But we did have the Gata Challenge over at Hander Fieldhouse, the first home meet for Georgia Southern Volleyball, and we take a look back now at those highlights. Again, Georgia Southern hosting the Gata Challenge in Statesboro this weekend. It starts on Friday as the Eagles take on Savannah State. We catch up in the first set as the Eagles on a 4-0 run. And after Savannah State able to keep it alive, Go ahead and make it 5-0 as Lauren Riekard with the kill. Later on in the match, Riekard would follow it up with another kill. She would finish with 11 to lead all Eagles on the afternoon. Savannah State with the serve and a good rally by the Eagles and the Tigers. But Carly Turner for the Eagles, the junior out of Austin, Texas, would get the kill in the Point Southern. Georgia Southern would take the first set 25-12 and starts off set two with again Lauren Riekard. As you see it again, great set by the freshman Madison Brown. Then Riekard blisters at home off the Tigers, and the Eagles take set two, 25 to 18. Jocelyn Morrow with the serve in set three for Georgia Southern, follows it up with a great dig by Morrow, then attack by Maddie Bryant, and the kill by Riekard, and Georgia Southern takes the sweep of the Tigers, three sets to none. Later on Friday afternoon, the Eagles take on USC Upstate in their second game of the Gata Challenge in Statesboro. Spartans with the serve and great attack and kill by the freshman Maddie Bryant. Upstate would take the first set 30 to 28, but the Eagles answer back as a long rally in set number two as a great save by Jocelyn Morrow, who would lead the Eagles with 18 digs versus the Spartans, followed up by a block by Skyler Ball and Lauren Riekard. Then Riekard says enough is enough and records one of her 16 kills of the match. Later in the second set, Madison Brown sets Riekard up yet again for the kill and Eagles take set number two. Onto the third set as the sophomore from Greensboro, North Carolina, Skylar Ball with one of her 10 kills of the match. Eagles still leading in the match as Carly Turner with a pair of attacks. Then Lauren Reeker cleans up the point and the Eagles defeat the Spartans three sets to one. In the final game of the Gatton Challenge, the Eagles again square off with Savannah State at noon on Saturday. And the Eagles no problem in this one. Tough angle, but Lauren Hager gets the point. Later in the first set, Morrow with the serve, and Lauren Riekard doing what she does best with a point Southern. Staying with the first set, and Madison Brown again with the set for Maddie Bryant coming from the back line for the kill, and finished with 12 on the afternoon. Eagles take set 125-14 and on to the second as Skyler Ball hammers it home for the early lead. Ball would finish with six kills and three blocks on the match. Eagles with the 19-8 advantage later in set two, as Ball's initial attack is kept alive by Savannah State. But again, Brown sets up Ball for the kill, and the Eagles take set two, 25 to 10. Finally in set three, Lauren Hager's attack is dug out by the Tigers, but Morrow sets Julia Landavazo for the kill, and Eagles take all three matches in the Gata Challenge. A lot of volleyball played at Hanner Fieldhouse this past weekend in the Gata Challenge, and then Georgia Southern turns their side on the Sunbelt Conference. That's right, Colin. They open up Sunbelt Conference play against both Coastal Carolina and Appalachian State next weekend. Coming up next on the other side of the break, we'll take a look back at the highlights from the Clemson Tigers and Georgia Southern up in Death Valley. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com save. A sports injury can stop you in your tracks. 
at Optum Orthopedics. Our specialized physicians and staff use advanced orthopedic procedures with one specific goal in mind, to get you back to you. If you have a sports injury, request an evaluation. Experience the Optum difference. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's got to be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. The Learfield Director's Cup. The highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. You have a new job now, right? I do. Yeah. It's a busy, busy place. Usually... Whenever you're ready. It happens every time. I've got it. And yeah. every time, do this. she wins. <sighs> it's on me. All right. But you have the bb and app with Zelle. Are you texting? Oh, uh, no one. I really should go back. Thank and you. can pay the bill before yeah, she even right. leaves the restaurant. Beth. Ah, the taste of victory. bb and all we see is you. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Optum Healthcare. They get you back to you. Georgia Power. A Southern Company. Welcome back into Blue White Weekly, your weekly look at Georgia Southern Athletics. Once again, Georgia Southern and the Clemson Tigers did battle up at Death Valley this past weekend up in Clemson, South Carolina. A tough day for Georgia Southern, but a good effort once again, Danny. Yeah, and it was a great way to test themselves here in the 2018 season going up a Power 5 conference team. Let's take a look at those highlights and see how Georgia Southern fared. Again, Saturday, Georgia Southern takes on number two Clemson up in Death Valley on the first drive of the ball game. Clemson Tigers marching into Georgia Southern territory from the 22-yard line. But Kelly Bryant trying to thread the needle on the left side. But Kendall Vildor picks it out of the air for the first interception of the year. After a three and out by Georgia Southern, Clemson driving again down to the 17-yard line. As Kelly Bryant drops back, Chris Harris comes in for the five-yard sack and would force Clemson to try to settle for a field goal. But Hugo pushes it wide right and would keep the game tied with no score. Next drive for Clemson. Trevor Lawrence hands it off to Adam Choice. Chris Harris comes in, puts the hat on the football, and forces the fumble. Raymond Johnson would recover it at the 48-yard line. Scoreless through one quarter, on into quarter number two in the first drive of the second quarter by the Clemson Tigers. The long drive by Clemson that started off on their own seven-yard line, 93 yards later. Travis Etienne would take it in from one yard out. It would give Clemson the lead at seven to nothing. After a three and out by Georgia Southern on the ensuing drive, Clemson gets the football back. And from the 43-yard line, Trevor Lawrence hooks up with Justin Ross from 57 yards out. And to give Clemson the lead at 14 to nothing. The next drive again by Clemson as the clock winding down in the first half. Kelly Bryant gives it off to Tavian Feaster. And from one yard out, will take it into the end zone. With 53 seconds left until halftime at 21-0, the Clemson Tiger lead as we go into the locker room. First drive of the second half by Clemson. After starting off with good field position at the 44-yard line of Georgia Southern, they would march down to the 20. Clemson has to settle for a field goal. This one from 37 yards out by Greg Hugel. Gives Clemson the lead at 24-0. Clemson with the ball once again. And after the drive stalls at the Georgia Southern 30-yard line, Hugel would miss his second field goal of the ball game. This one from 47 yards out. After a fumble by Georgia Southern, just two plays later, Trevor Lawrence looking downfield, but Rashad Bird able to tip it to himself, and Bird comes away with his first interception of the season. 
on the ensuing drive by Georgia Southern. Shy Wirtz pitches it back to OB Fortune in the double pass and a little trickery from head coach Chad Lunsford as OB Fortune would connect for 40 yards with Wesley Kennedy through the air and it would set Georgia Southern up well from the Clemson six yard line as Wirtz would take it in from six yards out and Georgia Southern back in the ball game at 24 to seven. A couple of drives later for Clemson in the fourth quarter as Travis Etienne from 40 yards out would extend the Clemson lead 31 to seven after the 40 yard scamper. Finally, one last push for Clemson as they get the ball back with just under four minutes to play. Adam Choice once again, this time from 10 yards out for his second score of the ball game and gives Clemson the lead 38 to seven would be your final score from Death Valley. As on the other side of the break, when do we return? We'll dive into Coach's Corner as we step back into Georgia Southern Volleyball and head coach Dustin Wood. What is a choir? A choir is a part of life. It's when you buy a car, a new home, or a fun family vacation. You acquire the things that make living better, like a great education, a beautiful wedding for your daughter, or even a piano for the grandchildren. We are the Q and Acquire, Queensboro, and we're in the business of lending for the joys of living. So when you're ready to acquire, call Q, Queensboro National Bank and Trust. to pack your bags because Savannah Hilton Head International offers non-stop flights to a variety of major cities including Nashville, Chicago, Toronto, Canada, Philadelphia, and many more. Eight airlines, 26 non-stop destinations. Savannah Hilton Head International. Visit flysav.com. For a limited time at Domino's, large two-topping pizzas are only $5.99 each when you carry out. Which is why we brought in Dale. Dale Lamarou, Domino's fastest pizza box folder. Because when you have a $5.99 carry-out deal this amazing, the last thing you want to do is run out of boxes. Because no box, no carry-out. <laughs> this week only, carry out large two-topping pizzas for just $5.99 each, only at Domino's. Okay, look, if you're not the lead dog, the scenery never changes. That's why this is the view for every other full-size pickup. And this year, it's deja vu all over again. Because only the Ford F-150 with its high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy body gives you best-in-class torque, best-in-class payload, and you got it, baby, best-in-class towing. Still leading the pack. This is the big dog. This is the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers. Ford, go further. Welcome back into Blue White Weekly, your weekly look at Georgia Southern Athletics as we dive into Coach's Corner. Presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers, we step into Georgia Southern Volleyball with head coach Dustin Wood. And coach, a tough start to the season. You were on the road for three straight weeks in three different tournaments around the country, but you finally got to come home for the GATA Challenge this past weekend. What was that like in being able to be back at Hanner Fieldhouse? Uh, it was really nice to sleep in our own beds after uh, three weekends away, but um, I think our road trips were valuable. But uh, this past weekend, it was just nice to have the energy in Hanner, and I appreciate the uh, administration and everybody that works here to moved around some matches because of the weather. So uh, we were happy to get it in and we're looking forward to this weekend coming up against uh, App State and Coastal. Not necessarily your first true home game. You did play a game down at the Armstrong campus. What was it like to be a part of that and be able to reach out to more of Eagle Nation down in Savannah? Uh, I think it was really important, uh, especially for our department and university as a whole. Uh, it, it got, you know, I know those students down there miss uh, athletics and I think uh, 
you know, it was pretty special for us to be the first uh, college team to play down there. So uh, it was a great environment, and uh, I, I know that people are going to come to Statesboro, and I think that will uh, help our fan attendance and, uh, you know, keep, keep our girls going, and, and that's really important for them. You mentioned conference play just around the corner. What excites you most about this team going down the second half of the season? Uh, I, it's just it's almost like a reset button uh, that we hit. I mean, we played one of the toughest non-conference schedules. I mean, uh, we played Minnesota, who was ranked number one in the nation uh, last week. So uh, I think what we did was re we prepared for uh, our conference schedule. It's, it's a reset button our girls can hit. Um, you know, and these matches mean everything. So, and, and to open up against App and Coastal at home, and uh, I think we owe them some, uh, owe them something just because of last year losing to five to both of them and some heartbreakers. But uh, I, I think our young kids are getting, you know, more experienced, and and that was the probably the tricky tricky thing about you know trying to be patient with these freshmen. Uh, but they have they have about 12 matches under their belt and uh, they've learned a lot and each week we've gotten better and better and, and that's the most important thing and now we're looking for the result. You mentioned the freshmen that you've got on the squad, also a number of key returners and Lauren Rieckert, Skylar Ball, names like that. How have they helped the freshmen in their progression so far? Uh, they've been very instrumental in it. Um, it. It's almost like an extension of the coaching staff, especially Lauren and Joss. Um, you know, it, it's it's something that they're learning from uh, them, and uh, it's nice. It's almost like having an extra coach out there. Um, Lauren's you know a little banged up right now, but uh, you know she's doing she's going the extra mile for them and, and being great leaders and, and team captains. So very happy with their development, and they definitely played a part into it. Coach, appreciate you joining us, and good luck the rest All of the year. Right, thanks. That's head coach Dustin Wood for Georgia Southern Volleyball. As we continue on Blue White Weekly, we take a look inside Georgia Southern football as Ellis Richardson can make the conversion from quarterback to H-back when we return. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Wow, look at Jim go. Man, that guy works hard. Courtside seats. Multitasking isn't for the faint of heart. Oh, I'm in. It takes experience, skill. Hey babe, do you have my credit card? I can't find it. Nope, I haven't seen it. I'll keep looking. And a bank that helps you take care of business from anywhere. You know? We could use more guys like Jim around here. BB&T, all we see is you. It's time to pack your bags because Savannah Hilton Head International offers nonstop flights to a variety of major cities, including Nashville, Chicago, Toronto, Canada, Philadelphia, and many more. Eight airlines, 26 nonstop destinations. Savannah Hilton Head International. Visit flysav.com. For a limited time at Domino's, large two topping pizzas are only $5.99 each when you carry out, which is why we brought in Dale. Dale Lamarou, Domino's fastest pizza box folder. Because when you have a $5.99 carry out deal this amazing, the last thing you want to do is run out of boxes. Because no box, no carryout. <laughs> this week only, carry out large two topping pizzas for just $5.99 each, only at Domino's. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Domino's, the world leader in pizza delivery. Welcome back into Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics as we dive back into Georgia Southern football. H-back Ellis Richardson, a couple of family ties to Clemson as his father and brother both played at Clemson for the Tigers. And now we dive into his transition from quarterback when he came into Georgia Southern to H-back and tight end under head coach Chad Lunsford. Ellis Richardson, Red Church senior, tight end. I'm originally from Georgia, Douglas County. 
Uh, growing up, I think everybody wants to play in the NFL, and that's been my goal since I was since I first started playing. And I've just stuck with it, even though it's been a long journey. I've just always stuck with it. I started out playing quarterback around sixth grade because nobody else could throw the ball, and I just stuck with it all the way until I got here. Leaving Alabama State, it was between South Carolina or a school in state, so I could pay for like tuition and things like that because I know I had to walk on at least the first year to earn a scholarship and Georgia Southern was the first place I stopped. I didn't know who the head coach was, I just knew they were winning and triple option, things like that. And when I got here, the tradition's over. Just being down here where everybody takes pride in the, in the football program and things like that, it just makes it that much more special. Playing a new position at a new school for the first time, it was kind of, had to get used to it. First couple games, it took me a while to get used to it, all the blocking and things like that. My year sitting out, I had not, I was still playing quarterback for scout team, so I was going against all first team defense, things like that. But I didn't make the switch until spring of last year. It wasn't too challenging because at quarterback, you got to know what everybody's doing, things like that. And playing just another position, you just, you don't have to think as much. You just do your job. But as far as playing tight end and our offense, just learning how to block, things like that, being physical, coming from quarterback. I think catching was natural to me. Coming into it, Coach Lonson was my position coach before he um, before he got promoted to the head coach. So I already knew what type of guy he was. Him making the switch to head coach, it really didn't change anything for me because I was already playing that way, but it changed for a lot of people. We just play a lot more freely, things like that, and when we're not scared to make a mistake. Coach Lonson tells us every week is uh, we're one and oh, try to be one and oh each week and not focus on things too far ahead. The energy and uh, the love he has for Georgia Southern, I think he's the, the perfect guy for the job. And he's, uh, he's everything Georgia Southern football is supposed to be. We're just glad to play for a coach who's for us. On the other side of the break, we catch up with head coach Chad Lunsford after the game at Death Valley against the Clemson Tigers. What is a choir? A choir is a part of life. It's when you buy a car, a new home, or a fun family vacation. You acquire the things that make living better, like a great education, a beautiful wedding for your daughter, or even a piano for the grandchildren. We are the Q in a choir, Queensboro, and we're in the business of lending for the joys of living. So when you're ready to acquire, call Q, Queensboro National Bank and Trust. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's gotta be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. We are world changers. We learn by doing, and our training prepares us for direct impact in our field. We are scholars. Even as undergrads, we work alongside our faculty to solve challenges facing our region, our state, and our world. We are leaders, experts, working with business and government partners for economic growth. This is Georgia Southern University, and we are the Eagle Nation. Okay, look, if you're not the lead dog, the scenery never changes. That's why this is the view for every other full-size pickup. And this year, it's deja vu all over again. Because only the Ford F-150 with its high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy body gives you best-in-class torque, best-in-class payload, and you got it, baby, best-in-class towing. Still leading the pack. This is the big dog. This is the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. 
Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers. Ford, go further. Welcome back into Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Once again, a tough day up at Clemson, Death Valley for Georgia Southern as they fall to 2-1 and one on the season. Russ Brown of the Georgia Southern Sports Network caught up with head coach Chad Lunds for just moments after the game. And here with head coach Chad Lunsford. Coach, 38-7, to seven, I know it's not the outcome we wanted. You talked all week about the team playing hard. Do you feel like that was the case today? I do. I think the guys came out and played hard. Um, you know, we told them all week. I mean, uh, they're talented. They're fast. We needed to outwork them. We needed to outplay them. And we needed to outwant it. Um, you know, we, I thought defense started the game off really well, uh, getting us two turnovers. Uh, we just couldn't get in a rhythm on offense. You know, that – uh, that hurt us. Uh, I think it was well, we only had 18 plays of offense in the first half, and they had 50 plays on offense. So that's that's tough. And, and we were down 21 nothing coming out of the half, and uh, you know the guys were still fighting, still going after it. You know, but I would like to see us finish better. On the uh, you mentioned the defense, especially early on in the game. Overall, they forced three turnovers and really did a good job getting the ball back from the offense early on. You had to be proud of that effort. I am. I, I did. I thought they came out. They stepped up the play and, uh, you know, uh, was, was really on top of things. You know, we ended up getting banged up in the first half. We had some young kids go in and, uh, you know, kind of step up and uh, make plays, got thrown in the fire that, you know, maybe haven't been in that environment yet of being down like that. And uh, so that was some positives there that we can take of it. But, shoot, anytime you lose, man, you, just, you can't feel good about much. Yeah, uh, well, one thing you can feel good about are the fans that were here at the game. You've got a lot of support from Eagle fans making the trip from Statesboro. Oh, I thought that was awesome. You know, the, the, with the weather, the uncertainty, if the game was going to get played or not, for our fans to show up and uh, really support us, that's awesome. And uh, I tell you what, you know, we got us a bye week coming up, but we're going to be back in Paulson. we got Arkansas State, and we're going to need Eagle Nation more than ever, you know, because we're, we're, we're going to put a better product on the field the next game, and we just need to be able to feed off that energy. Well, Coach, we always appreciate the time. Uh, have a safe trip back to Statesboro. Get home safe and sound, and we look forward to seeing Eagle Nation on August, or September 29th. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. Once again, that's head coach Chad Lunsford visiting with Russ Brown of the Georgia Southern Sports Network just moments after the Clemson game up in Death Valley. And even though Georgia Southern football takes a bye week this weekend, Georgia Southern Volleyball and the other sports still in action as well. That's right, Colin. Volleyball opens up Sun Belt Conference play against Coastal Carolina and Appalachian State. Also, men's soccer returns home to Eagle Field Art Park to take on East Tennessee State University and Winthrop. The next home contest for Georgia Southern football will be September 29th as the Arkansas State Red Wolves, led by head coach Blake Anderson and a team Danny expected to win the Sun Belt Conference this year. Yeah, well, the preseason favorites and also have a quarterback that was the Conference Offensive Player of the Year and preseason Offensive Player of the Year for the 2018 season. Again, September 29th, the next game for Georgia Southern football against the Red Wolves of Arkansas State. My thanks, as always, to everybody at the Multimedia Development Center. For Danny Waugh, this is Colin Lacey. So long, everybody. <laughs>